we were in a resort and they started dancing and you won't believe it's the only country in the world where black people don't have rhythm and this kid starts break dancing and he spent the entire night teaching the natives how to break dance <laughs> wow. it was a sight not to be believed <laughs> it was just funny we have a new, uh, you know that potato head thing that they did to take off the Michael Jackson head? Sure. We have a Michelle Gillen head doll that we're going to be selling next you week. You know, I have a client who invented Mr. Potato Head. My really? client invented it. The original Mr. Potato Head was his. What's his name, Brian Norcross? No, his name is George Lerner. Uh-huh. The man is in his early 70s. What a nice guy. Yeah. It is. He brought me a family of the... Uh, Mr. Potato Head's how they evolved. Now it's a husband, a wife, and a child, and they have all these other things, uh, which... Yeah, like the Michael Jackson But he sold it to Hasbro and made a nice bit of change on it, which was very nice. Yeah. But it's bizarre how the thing has evolved over the last... I don't know when he invented it. What was it, 35 years ago, 40 years ago? Whatever, yeah. Whatever you say. Well, I don't know. Well, whatever. But it, it has evolved. Uh, just incredible. I can't believe when the roads get wet in this town, what happens to the drivers? They're dead. They are dead people. Have you ever seen them? <laughs> yeah, every day. No, I would like that? to take one of those pellet guns and shoot them. What has that got to do with the uh, potato head? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You're just uh, segueing from one to another. Don't sure. you Isn't that okay? Oh, sure. sure. No problem. No problem. Don't uh, let was... Paul. Don't let Paul step on your toes, sir. He's <laughs> not. Just that a professional troublemaker from the beach. Alive. If the guy had some interest at all, he'd be into this broadcast. Yeah. He'd have something going on. Yeah. He's right. sitting there like a dodo and nothing's coming out. Let him right. Do you have any interest, sir? Rip this him. is not my show. You Rip forgot him. something there. You're a guest. You're entitled to participate. Neil has That's a right. participate. Okay, sir. That's enough ripping my guest. Okay, get lost. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. 23 before noon at WINZ, and uh, we ought to give those numbers out just in case there's any uh, bird brains out there that want to participate in Dade County. Well, we do have an open line. It's not flashing in Dade. 624-9400. Very good. Broward 524-9400. And tonight's the big night at the ice cream store, and we've got just all kinds of exciting things going on today, don't we? Like uh, lots of hate mail. Good. Great amount. Tons. Great. A torrent. Super. An outpouring of emotion from these loving, wonderful, <laughs> antisocial douchebags in South Florida. Florida, everywhere. Whenever here. we get any complimentary letters in about me, that's right where they go. You bet, because that's where they belong. Rick in Miramar. Isn't that what I just said only moments ago? What is wrong with you today? You just swept away I with never all this read the letter. with another feeding frenzy. Save a little room for ice cream, will you please? Well. Dade County, hello. Never will be there. What? What'd he say? I didn't, didn't get it. Bizarre. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I'd like to speak, speak to Paul. <clears throat> yes. For you, Paul. You got him. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. He's all choked up, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, Paul. Yeah. Uh, listen, I've been listening to your show for quite a while. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you mean his show? Paul's show. Yeah, thank you. Go ahead. Paul, I think your show is unbelievable. <laughs> you are up. It's a terminal show, and I have a few questions. <laughs> Go ahead. Some ambient noise in the background, and I read in the Herald this morning that the bird goes in the pot for chicken sandwiches. But what about the <laughs> bag sitting next to you that nails something or other? Is he still going to be on your show? The, the who? That who? Neil something or other? Uh, no, he's just a guest of mine today. Great. Well, good work. We'll get even with you, sir. <laughs> this is a fate worse than death. <laughs> this is your chance. Hiya, hiya. <laughs> where, where are you calling from? What's that? Where are you calling from? Buffalo, no doubt. Yes, I'm calling from Miami. Now, don't knock Buffalo, because I was born in Niagara Cheek Falls. Chictawaga. <laughs> North Tonawanda. I was born in Niagara Falls. Fredonia. I'm calling from Hamburg. I'm calling from Redondo Beach. He's calling oh. from Hamburg Raceway in right. Hamburg, New York. Redondo Beach, huh? Redondo, that's the beach Paul works at. Oh, he oh. hosed me. This is this is your big chance, Paul. He hosed you? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> let's not get into that what, on the air. What's your name, sir? Clifford. Clifford. <laughs> This is your big chance. You could tell me to, uh... Oh, is this Big Clifford? Clifford, what, uh, uh how, how old are you? What's that? How old are you? Thirteen. Yeah, come Thir on, Clifford. <laughs> come on. 
this is your big chance to say, you make me sick, and then hang up. You people make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not enough uh, sarcasm. Mm -mm. Not enough oomph. I know. Right? That's right. Kind of a wimpy yeah. hang up. Well. Dade County, hello. Hang up. Well. <laughs> They're there, trust me. Yo, Neil. Yeah. How you doing, You're pal? Right. Good. Uh, What's up, dude? Uh, I want to know one thing. <laughs> yeah. I can ask you a question? Please, ask, ask me anything you want. What is the deal now? Tell me, tell me, please tell me what's the deal. What you be wanting to know, man. <laughs> With this Bloomingdale's in the fall. Good call, huh? Excellent. Right on target. It certainly fits in perfectly with everything we've been talking hey. about. The ambiance of the show is enhanced by this color. What 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 you be talking about, okay, man? Okay, I figure if anyone knows the answer, it must to be you. What What is the question? Okay. Every guy there is, how you say, homosexual. Homosexual? That's right. What wow. does that mean? That means a lot of radio people hang out there. <laughs> um, I was in there yesterday <laughs> looking around, and... I've, let's I've, see. Let's start with the list now. Okay, oh no. just a joke. Come on. All right, couple cuts on my hands from uh, got in a little brawl the other day. Oh yeah. So this guy, I'm looking for a shirt, and this guy's helping me, and he goes, "Oh my God, what happened to your knuckles?" <laughs> <laughs> what is the deal? Well, wait a minute. You didn't knuckle under, did you? Oh no, sir. Okay, that's good. <laughs> but uh, there are a couple cute girls there, as a matter of fact, and I said. Don't you love working here? The chance to meet all these... Oh, wait a minute, guys. sir. Wait a minute. We have a special uh, bulletin from Brian Norcross. What is it? The National Weather Service has issued a special marine warning effective till 2 p.m. for the coastal waters of the lower and middle keys of Monroe <laughs> County. Oh, well, this is for I, Monroe County? I used Come to on, work with him, by the way. With Brian Norcross? Yes, sir. Did you see him at Bloomingdale's? No, sir. Okay. <laughs> um... So what's the answer? What's the deal with that? What is the question? Why you do, do all the hiring over there? Why do all the queens hang out at Bloomingdale's? Yeah, I don't not know. hang out there, but work there. I thought that they all hung out at Gay Side. Gay Side. Yeah. Nah, not that I've seen, but trust me. Do you do? Do you have well, anything to do with the hiring over there? There's a lot of lot of Latino royalty hanging out at Bayside. Yes, I know that. I know that too. Not too many kings either. Are you saying the the male queens hang out there? I didn't say that. You just uh, you're doing the interpreting. <laughs> I don't, I have never been in Bloomingdale's. I have no idea. I do know that Stan was in Bloomingdale's a couple of weeks ago, he told me. Stan would love that place. Would he really? It's a, it's a homo haven. Well, then why would Stan love it? Well, isn't Stan the one who likes the young boys? Oh, oh I forgot, yeah. <laughs> this man knows <laughs> Oh, wait show. a minute, wait a minute. I want to tell you something. This is the greatest line in the history of mankind, okay? To show, to show you how desperate he is and that he may be, you may be right, he may be changing. Okay. Stan said to me, we had just, I don't know where we had been. I, oh, I know where we were. We were at the ice cream store Friday or Saturday night. Uh -huh. Okay, an unscheduled appearance. Uh -huh. I think on